Hi. So today we are going to have a look about what is acceleration due to gravity. Now, if I take an object and if I lift an object to a certain height and release it, the object definitely will fall on the ground due to gravity. Now, will the speed of this object, will the velocity of this object remain constant during the fall or it will go on increasing? Let us have a look at it. If the object is lifted at a certain height and if it falls on the ground, the velocity actually goes on increasing. That means the particle or the object accelerates. Now this can be explained by Newton's second law of motion. It states that if a force is acted upon an object, the mass accelerates. We have force is equal to mass into acceleration. Now, we know that the force this time acting on the object is the gravitational force and hence the acceleration which occurs due to that, that is the acceleration due to gravity. The symbol to denote the acceleration due to gravity is small g. Okay. Now, what is the exact value of g? Let us see how it is calculated. Now according to the universal law of gravitation, the gravitational force F is equal to g into m1 into m2 upon r square, where m1 and m2 are the masses of two objects. So if we consider a mass on the surface of the earth with mass small m and the mass of the earth to be considered as capital M, then the formula becomes F is equal to g into capital M into small m upon r square. Now, we also know that force is equal to mass into acceleration. If the force is the gravitational force, the acceleration will be acceleration due to gravity. So, F is equal to m into g. Now, if we equate both these forces, we can see the mass will get cancelled out and will be left with small g is equal to g m upon r square. What is r? r is the distance between the objects. In this case, r is in fact the radius of the earth. So, we know the value of the gravitational constant, we know the value of mass of earth, we also know the value of radius of earth. These are all constants, so we can substitute these values and we'll get the value of g as 9.77 meter per second square. So now that we have understood the value of g, now does the value of g remain constant in all the places on the earth or it varies? Now the answer of this actually lies in the formula of g itself. Okay, uh, So acceleration due to gravity is equal to g which is a universal gravitational constant into m upon r square. Okay, Now m is the mass of the earth and r is the radius of the earth. Now the problem is the earth is not exactly spherical. Okay, If you look at the earth, it bulges towards the equator and it is flatter towards the poles. Okay, Hence, the value of r in fact is smaller at the poles and it is greater at the equators. Okay, Now, what happens if, now if you look at the formula, r which is the radius that lies in the denominator. Okay. Now, if it lies in the denominator, as the denominator increases, the value of the fraction decreases and hence the value of g at equators is smaller and the value of g at the poles is greater. Okay? Now, this is not the only parameter which decides the value of g. Now, consider yourself traveling in an aircraft or you can say traveling in space. Okay? Now, if you look at this diagram, the distance from the center of the earth this time has increased. If you are moving around the earth, then the radius has increased from r, that is the radius of earth, plus the height, okay, plus the height of the spacecraft. So, if the value of r increases, again look at the formula, is the denominator. If the denominator increases, the value of g should decrease, okay. So, again, it depends upon the height of the object which is placed above the earth. As you move away from the surface of the earth, the value of g decreases. Now, what happens if we go inside the earth? Okay. Now, the earth's surface is not flat always. 
okay we have mountains we have valleys and so on now if you look if you go inside the earth or inside the earth's crust you can see the value of r now the radius is smaller right distance of this point from the center of the earth decreases so the value of r decreases in the formula and what if the value of r decreases the value of g should increase now does it increase actually it doesn't why let us see this now if you see this diagram the r has definitely decreased okay but if you draw a circle of this radius you can see there is some mass which lies outside the radius now to calculate the exact value of g we also have mass in the numerator okay so in fact the mass which is in the numerator also decreases so r also decreases as well as m u also decreases now the cumulative effect of both these parameters in fact leads to the reduction of value of g okay so as you move towards the center of the earth the value of g also decreases okay so the value of g is highest at the surface of the earth as you move above the surface of the earth the value of g decreases as you move towards the surface of the earth inside the crust the value of g also decreases okay so this is all about the acceleration due to gravity thank you